Hayden Kamanis. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. Jennifer. Very nice to meet you. Please have a seat. Oh, thank you. How was your journey? Yes, it was fine. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. It's a bit, it's a, the weather's a bit bad. Yeah. Oh, it's very cold. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great. Sorry. Thank you for coming. Um, shall we start? Can you just begin by telling us a little bit about your experience and what interests you in this position? Well, um, I, for a long time, I've been looking after my mother, um, who died over a year ago. So, and she got Alzheimer's. And so I was her main carer, so I've had a lot of um, experience there because it's been mm. 10 years. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Was that in Ireland? Or was it was in Ireland, mm. yes. Okay. So, um, and for the last, I've been here now for a year, and for the last half year I've been um, helping out volunteering in the care home. Mm. And um, one of the, uh, the ladies said that maybe I should. Do not think about getting a full time yeah. job. So, How has your experience been so far? For one year. For one year. Mm -hmm. Oh well, yes, it's 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 good. It's it's busy, you know. But uh, it's nice. I'm having I'm having a nice time. How does it compare to you're obviously used to dealing with your mother? How does that compare to dealing with people that you don't know? Oh well, I've been volunteering, so I I don't know anyone. No. But, yeah. Yeah. So um, that's been okay actually yeah, because yeah. I get on quite well with old people. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's good. Too. Yeah, so that's she's, what we're looking for. Yeah. Yes. Can you tell us a story about someone that you have met throughout the year that their story actually touched you on a personal level? Oh, well, I suppose the lady who told me to come here, um, now her, she's both her kids, uh, they passed away actually, mm -hmm. and um, so she's quite lonely. Um, but she's had a very, a very fl uh, big life, so she has, and her husband was in the army, and, and she's been travelling, she went over to him, and she's a really strong woman, and she believes that we can always, you know, no matter what happens in life, we'll always be okay once, once your heart is strong, and, and you know, she's very ill, um, she can't walk very well, mm -hmm. and uh, she's moments mm -hmm. lapse memory. Sometimes she mm -hmm. she thinks I'm her daughter, but uh, but anyway, so she's somebody who I who I admire a lot. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's we're looking for somebody who is you know obviously a very caring person and very used to dealing with people who are, who are elderly. Um, tell us about your qualities um, that you think would make you suitable for this position. Well, I'm, I'm very, I'm a very pragmatic person, um, I, um, and I know to get the job done, but I'm also a good listener, and um, I think generally a nice person. Um, I know how to get on with people, um, and I, you know, I know health, and I've had the experience of my mother, and you know, sometimes she could be very difficult. Mm, yes. Of course. Uh, you know, and um, I know how to look after, you know, I know to give them a bit of space. Mm. You, know? you know the working hours, right? Yes, I do, yeah. Are uh, you comfortable with that? Oh, that's... You know that sometimes people might go on sick leaves or holidays, are you okay to cover that time? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we are certainly looking for somebody very flexible. Are you happy to work? In a, in a very flexible manner. Can you accommodate this? Does oh. your life over here accommodate working in that manner? Do you have any expectations in terms of salary? Well, um, I, I'm not too sure what, what salary now, um, so you know, I wasn't really, maybe, I don't know what to Like what do what you aspire for? I was thinking it's probably around 24,000. Um, so you'll be required to work within a team. Um, you know, what what would you say your strengths and weaknesses are working within a team and working independently? Um, as I said, I had to work a lot on my own, so with my mother, so I could do that by myself. You know, as a sole carer. And uh, working with a team, well, with the voluntary work, 
we, we were coordinators. Mm. So we coordinate events and stuff, and there's a few of us on board, mm. and we have to think of new ideas mm. and, and find the right driver. And I'm good at working with other people and coming up with solutions for any problems. What was your role? That, that brings me to my next question, which is what was your role? in the team. So how many people were there? There were six of us. Yeah. And uh, well, my role was coming up with ideas for events. And More the creative side. Well, creative, yes. Yes, mm. I suppose I am a bit creative. Mm. Um, so yeah, that was my role. And, uh, you know, trying to think of things. Because I can't, I, I um, and organize the drivers. And, well, we don't we don't walk in really, but but my I would probably think of the events a lot, and you know where I could source people to come in if maybe we wanted to have a, a theatre night or a bridge night or, mm. or something. Else. Obviously, very important qualities in looking after people. It's not just the basic primary care; it's also the the other sort of entertainment kinds of things that you can do with them. And um, what else do you think is important to offer the people you would be caring for, um, working for them as an employee? Well, you need to give, offer them a good ear. They need to, to talk, and and then somebody who who knows about health and, and what they should eat and advice and financial. Someone who who if they they've got any concerns will just go ahead and find out the information they may need mm. and help them out and uh, somebody who's able-bodied themselves, um, you know, because they need a lot of lifting, and, um, well, it's just somebody who's, you know, who's got good skills in, in many ways. Mm. Yes. Great. What would make you quit? What would make me quit? Mm. Oh, um, well, I don't know. I suppose if I had to go back to Ireland for some reason, which I have no um, no reason to, I, 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 if I didn't like the job, but I don't mm. see any reason. <laughs> I mean, for now, I'm just giving you some scenarios. <clears throat> for now, you have been doing, um, taking care of your mom, um, and then later on you were volunteering, so you were choosing your own times. But now to be more of a strict schedule, you would have kind of a boss, you would have to report to, you would have to do all these things that potentially you're not used to, would that be an issue for you? Well, it's not that I'm not used to because my mother was my boss mm. <laughs> and I, I didn't have any time really for myself. Mm. You know, I was so supportive, mm. so, you know, it's it's not very different really. Mm. So, you know, and I, I want the structure more, so that's why I'm looking for a full-time job as well. Mm. But, you know, I, I want to do something keep me more busy. Mm. Great. So we've spoken about your experience mm. and some of the people that you've cared for. Can you tell us a bit about more, more about your skills and perhaps the computer skills? Um, computer skills? Yeah, I mean you'd, you'd be dealing with paperwork and writing reports. So how competent oh. are you um, with your computer skills? Yes, I, well I have a computer at home and um, I use Word. Um, I'm not uh, so Word and Excel, Excel the, uh, the basics, basic basic sort of computer. Basic, I mean, yes. you know, it's not um, there's not nothing too complex, but you do definitely need uh, yes, a knowledge, knowledge a, a basic knowledge. I do. Great. Right. Mm. So. We'd like you to gauge them on a scale of one to ten, one to five, rather. One obviously being the lowest, five being the highest. Um, how would you rate yourself for this next statement? I am able to take control in stressful situations. I'd rate myself eight. It's between one and five. Oh, sorry, um, four. Mm. Okay. The next one is I'm good with money. Oh, well, I have to look after the money, so I would say five because I've had to look after my mum's and my finances. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am able to work independently. Well, again, I would say five. Mm. I'm an outgoing and likeable person. Um, 
I would say probably three, I might be the most outgoing, but... Mm. But like her. Like her. Mm. I make quick decisions and I'm capable of coming to conclusions quickly. Oh, four. Four. I can handle difficult personalities. Oh, yes, I would say five. Mm. I draw on my own experience when judging situations. I would say five. I draw on my own experiences when dealing with difficult people. I'm strong-willed. Last but not least, I'm selfless. Selfless? Oh, I would say far more than just the selfishness. Mm. Okay, so, um, just from your perspective, what would you be looking for in an employer? Somebody who, um, whatever they say about the company they need, and, um, Somebody who listens to staff if they've got problems, who mucks in, and who actually is not looking, who cares about the people that they're mm -hmm. looking after. I think that's very important. Right, okay. So, uh, um, I don't have any further questions. Do you have any further questions? Um, I think we've probably covered everything. Yes. Yeah. Um, actually, I have one last question. Right. If we are not selected, what would be your next career move? Well, I'd look for another job in this area. Okay. In the same area? Do you have anything, any prospects coming up, or that's your first well, no, job? No, this is the first job that I've seen, so... Okay. So, uh, Kim, thank you very much for coming. Right. Uh, the way it's going to go is that we're interviewing a lot of people, okay. so within the next couple of weeks when we're done, if you are shortlisted, we're going to contact you for another interview. If not, then we're going to still contact you until you unfortunately haven't been shortlisted for the next phase of interviews. I think I'd be very good for this job. Mm. Um, I think, you know, you'd be very happy if you did think of mm. We wish you best of luck in your future endeavors. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.